Okay, look, I hope you've had a chance to actually think about that alarm system that we were designing. And, you know, I asked you to see if you could actually simplify that state diagram, that is, remove one of the states. Here is the solution to that. And basically, let me run through that with you once again. Okay, so in this state over here, we're generating a reset signal. And this is kind of like an idle condition of your alarm system. So look, if the intrusion input, let's say, is a one, that might mean that there's a door or a window that's actually open, okay? Well, we don't want to be in a position that we can arm the system if there is a door or if there is a window open. And so basically, we're going to stay in that particular condition until what? Until we close all the doors and windows and intrusion becomes a zero. Once intrusion becomes a zero on the next clock edge, we'll actually move into this state. We'll generate a green LED. Now that green LED on our little control panel will indicate that we're in a position to actually arm this system if we choose. The green LED is also an indicator that all doors and windows are actually closed. So once again, if you were to open a door, then intrusion would become a one and it would move back into this state here waiting for a door or window to actually be closed again, which will bring us back into this state where the green LED is on. Okay, if we're in this state, all doors and windows are closed, then we're looking at the arm disarm signal. If the arm disarm signal is a zero, we're just continue to loop around in that particular state. On the other hand, if we arm the system, now we might be doing this by way of a key. Remember this arm disarm signal is really coming from an SR latch. So if we arm the system, the SR latch output is a one, which is an input to my state machine called AD, and that will move me into this state. We now have the red LED on. We're going to reset that SR latch so we can use that switch again for the purpose of now disarming the system. And so that's why we've got a reset generated over here in this state. Next clock edge, we move into this state over here. We've still got the red LED on. We're going to clear the counter at this point. Now that was the change that we've now made that's enabled us to actually reduce the number of states to actually implement this alarm system, okay? So while we're in this state, we can now use the AD uh, to actually disarm the system if we choose. And so in other words, if I now set the SR latch, AD becomes a one, we now move back on the next clock edge into this state here, once again, resetting the SR latch once we get into that particular state. All right, if we're in this state and we're not disarming it, then we're looking basically at the intrusion input, okay? So if we're looking at this intrusion input, if it's a zero, we'll, re we'll actually just remain in this particular state unless we disarm it. If the intrusion becomes a one, somebody's broken in, they've come through a window or a door, then we move into the siren state. We generate an SR signal, which is used to activate the siren. We're gonna stay in this particular state until what? Until the carry becomes, or the carry out becomes a one. So we're using a counter for that purpose. Once the carry out becomes a one, then we'll move back into this state over here. Now, remember, in this particular state, when we move into it, the carry or the counter is really what? The counter is starting off at basically a zero, okay? So basically, if it's a 4-bit uh, counter, we've got basically the counter starting off with zero, 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 zero in it. That's been established by what we did in the previous state over here where we actually cleared the counter. Just remember, you cannot clear the counter in this state while you're trying to look at the carry out. If you generated a clear of the counter in this state, the counter would always have a zero sitting in it and we'd loop around in there forever, okay? So you have to generate that clear signal in the state prior to where you're actually looking at the carry out. All right, so that's our state diagram. That's the design of our system. Now let's see if we can go ahead and produce the state table. Now what we need to do is label the states. We've got one, two, three, four, five states. So we're going to need what? Three state variables. Well, we'll call these A, B, and C. All right, so we're gonna call this state over here the zero, zero, zero state. This one we'll call the zero, zero, one state. 
This guy over here we're going to call the 0, uh, 1, 0 state. This guy over here will be the 0, 1, 1 state. And this one will be the 1, 0, 0 state. So what we've, we've got our states labeled now. And so now we can actually generate this state table. All right, let's have a look at the state table. Now uh, we've got inputs and outputs. Let's look at what our inputs are to this state machine. All right, so what have we got? I'll try to put it in this space over here so we can compare the two. So we've got, uh, let's see, we've got an intrusion input. So I'll call that the INT, intrusion input. We've got the arm disarm input coming from the SR latch. We've got the carry out. And then, of course, we've got what? We've got a state, the state we're in, the A, B, C values. So those are the inputs, all right? So let's draw a line down here. Now, outputs, what do we have? We have A, N, we have B, N, and we have C, N, which is our next state outputs. Um, let's see if we can fit this in here. What do we have here? We have a green LED. So let's write it this way, green LED. We have, what else? We have a red LED. Uh, we have a clear, low acting. So this is an L, C, L, R. We have a reset, R, S, going to the SR latch. And then we have a siren output, S, R. Okay, so those are basically the outputs of the system. So let's just put a line across here like so. Okay, let's see if we can now develop this state table. Let's start off in the 0, 0, 0 state. So here we go, 0, 0, 0 state. If I'm in that particular state, what am I really looking at? Well, I'm actually looking at intrusion, and I'm really only looking at the intrusion, aren't I? Okay, if the intrusion is a 1, I stay in the same state. If intrusion is a 0 on the next clock, I'm going to move into this state. So I really don't care, do I, about the carry out. I don't care about AD, but I do care about the intrusion. And if the intrusion, let's say, is a 1, is a 1, I'm going to stay in that state. Okay? So my next state over here would be what? 0, 0, 0. Staying in that state. All right. Next case. If I'm in the 0, 0, 0 state, once again, I don't care about the carry out, don't care about the arm disarm condition. But if intrusion is now a 0, Zero on the next clock edge, I would move to this state over here, which is what? That is the zero, zero, one state. So that is really that state, isn't it? Now, let's look at the, what we have in our state box over here in terms of outputs that need to be generated, okay? I just need to generate the RS signal. That's the reset to the SR latch. So the green LED is off. The red LED is off. I'm not clearing the counter. It's a low acting signal, so this is sitting at a one. I am generating a reset, so that's a 1, and I am not generating a siren signal, so that is in fact a 0. All right, that's my first state done. Next state, which is what, the 0, 0, 1 state. All right, let's have a look at this guy, 0, 0, 1 state. Let's see what we've got here. Now look, um, there's a priority here. If I'm in the 0, 0, 1 state, and let's say intrusion is a 1, okay, that will take priority over AD. So if intrusion is a 1, I'm just going to move back into the 0, 0, 0 state. Um, I don't care about the carry out at all while I'm in that particular state. I'm only really looking at intrusion and AD as inputs into this, uh, uh, this condition, this state that we're in. So I don't care about the carry out. But I'm going to say here, if intrusion is a 1, then I really don't care about the AD because intrusion will take priority. And so I'm going to say, I don't care about that AD. I'm going to move where? Follow this. I'm going to move back into the 0, 0, 0 state. Okay. Next case. If I'm in the 0, 0, 1 state, I don't care about the carry out. But if intrusion is a 0, then I do care about what AD is. If AD is a zero, I stay in the same state. So here we are, if AD is a zero, I'm gonna stay in the same state, which is the zero, zero, one state. Next case, if I'm in the zero, zero, one state, don't care about the carry out, 
uh, if intrusions are zero and the, and the AD signal is now a one, so intrusion is zero, AD is a one, then on the next clock edge, I'm going to go into the zero, one, zero state. So I'm going to go into the zero, one, zero state. So there we are, we're done with that particular state. What do I need to generate over here? Let's look at what's in the box. Just the green LED. So this is on, uh, red LED is off. Uh, clearing the counter? No, I'm not. So that's low acting, remember, so that's a one. Am I resetting? No, I'm not resetting, so that's all zero. Am I generating a siren signal? No, so all zeros sitting there. That's the next state done. Let's move now to the zero, one, zero state. So here we are, the zero, one, zero state. Okay, well, uh, where do I go next? Well, it's not dependent upon any other input to the system, so I'm going to go into the 0, 1, 1 state. So I really don't care about this guy, this guy, or this guy. I'm going to go to the 0, 1, 1 state when I get the next clock edge. Now let's have a look at what we generate signal-wise in the 0, 1, 0 state. 0, 1, 0 state, I generate a red LED and a reset. So green LEDs off, generate a red LED, not clearing, uh, I generate a reset, don't I? Yes, and no siren. Okay, so that's that state. Now, let's move over to this state. If I'm in the 0, 1, 1 state, what am I looking at? Am I looking at AD? Yes. Am I looking at intrusion? Yes. So I'm not looking at carry out in that state, so I don't care about this guy. But AD is going to take priority. All right, so if AD is a 1 on the next clock edge, I'm going to go back to the 0, 0, 0 state. So AD takes priority, so if AD is a 1, so let me put that in there, then I really don't care about intrusion because on the next clock edge, I'm going to go back to the 0, 0, 0 state. All right, if I'm in the 0, 1, 1 state, okay, don't care about the carry out, but if AD is a zero, I'm not disarming the system, then I'm going to look at intrusion. If intrusion is zero, then I simply stay in that state, which is the 0, 1, 1 state. All right, next case. If I'm in the 0, 1, 1 state, don't care about the carry out. If AD is a zero and intrusion now is a one, there it is, AD is zero, intrusion a one, the next state I would go to would be the 1, 0, 0 state, okay? All right, now let's see, what do we have over here? Well, let's look at the state we're in. We're in the 0, 1, 1 state, 0, 1, 1 state. What have we got? We've got a red LED on and we're clearing the counter. So green is off, red LED is on, and I'm clearing the counter. It's a low acting signal, so I'll bring it low. Am I resetting? No, I'm not resetting, so that's back to zero. Am I generating a siren signal? No, I'm not generating a siren signal, so that's all zero, okay? That's that state done. One more state, which is this guy over here. So if I'm now in the one, let's say, zero, zero state, well, what am I looking at by way of an input? I'm just looking at the carry out. So I really don't care about intrusion. I don't care about the arm disarm condition. I do care about the carry out. If the carry out is zero, I stay in the same state, which is the one, zero, zero state. All right, so if it's in the one, zero, zero state, and now let's say, don't care about this, don't care about this. If the carry out's a one, then on the next clock, I'm going to move back into the zero, zero, zero state. All right, we're done with that particular state. Now let's see, what do I generate over here? Well, look, this is the state box. All I'm generating is SR. So basically, the green LED is off. Uh, the red LED is off. Uh, clear, not clearing, so that's back up to a one. Uh, not resetting, am I? No, so that's a zero, but I am generating the siren signal, okay? So that now is effectively what? It is my state table for this system. All right, now, there are unused states. We really should design for those unused states. A glitch, a power surge of some sort could kick us into it, and if we don't design for it, it could be a real problem. So what are the unused states? We've got a one, zero, one state. Okay, there it is. What else? We've got a one, one, zero state. There it is. And we've got a one, one, one state. There it is, okay? So we need to think about it. We don't care about what these inputs are. Okay, so we don't care about that, but we want to make sure that if we got into it, remember this is not normally encountered. That's not part of our normal flow. 
It's just a glitch, a power surge that could push us into it. So if we get into it, we want to get out. We want to make sure we get out. Where do we want to go? This is debatable as to where you want to go. In my case, maybe I'm going to say, if I got into one of these guys here, I'm just going to go back to the zero, zero state. Zero, zero, zero state. Okay, so in each of those cases, I'm going to go back up here. Do I want to generate any special outputs here? I don't want the green LED on. No. Do I want the red LED on? No. Um, do I want to clear the counter? No, I don't really want to clear the counter. Um, do I want to reset? No, I don't want to reset. Do I want to have the siren on? No, I don't want the siren on. Okay. Now, you could say, well, we could even debate that. Um, you could actually even generate another signal, perhaps, in this unused state. You could perhaps generate a signal that basically activates a dialer and maybe calls you to tell you something's going on. All kinds of possibilities there that we could debate as far as the design is concerned. But anyway, this is the truth table, the state table of this basic alarm system. It is a realistic alarm system. And... Um, the next step in this process would be then to actually implement this with the logic. And I'm going to leave you to actually do that. Uh, various ways to do it. You could use a memory approach. It could be an, a ROM. It could be an EEPROM, an EEPROM. You could use combinational logic, random logic, if you wanted to as well. And of course, if you're going to use a logic approach, getting Boolean equations, you remember how to do that. You simply come down the column here where you see your first product term, like a one sitting here. So that's our first product term for AN. You'd come back over here and read it off. That would be intrusion, uh, AD bar. S don't care about this guy. This would be A bar, B, C. And the next term you would have here would be this one. So that would be an OR. And you would have what? You'd have C O bar, A, B bar, C bar and you'd approach each one of those outputs in that way to get the relevant Boolean equations. And then you can use those Boolean equations um, to actually come up with the logic that you would use. All right, well, look, this pretty much concludes what I really want to say about the alarm system. The key to design is really in coming up with this state diagram. And then to go from here to here, it is a very mechanical type process. So I'll see you next time. Thank you.